We begin with more victims coming forward in the sex abuse scandal involving former University of Michigan Dr. Robert Anderson. Thanks for joining us for 7 Action News at 5. I'm Alan Campbell. Now this all comes as more troubling claims are being made that the school is refusing to cooperate with the Michigan Attorney General. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead is in Ann Arbor and tells us what survivors are demanding in the response from U of M. A group of alleged sexual assault survivors say the abuse by Dr. Anderson is not just a thing of the past and the university is still failing to talk about a broken culture that exists to this day. I stand here with my brothers and sisters. We are not just victims of Robert Anderson, but perhaps more importantly, we are victims of an institution that failed us for more than four decades. Former college wrestling standout Tad DeLuca stands with a group of alleged survivors and their attorney, calling on the University of Michigan Board of Regents to stop what they call a refusal to share documents related to Dr. Robert Anderson with Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel. Former Michigan football star and NFL player John Vaughn also calling it a cover-up that should cause high-level corporate sponsors and supporters to withhold financial support. Barbaric exams. You know, there's no reason I've talked to many trainers, proctologists, that an 18-year-old, unless he has pre-existing conditions, should ever have a prostate exam. Furthermore, like many others, Vaughn says he was sexually assaulted by Dr. Anderson and Coach Bo Schembechler knew about it, but there were no changes. Come tomorrow, Vaughn and others are pushing for more accountability. These survivors call upon the Board of Regents, who have a meeting tomorrow evening, to cooperate with the Attorney General's office for a full and complete investigation. These survivors demand accountability and transparency from the University of Michigan. The university has completed its own review by an outside law firm, but today's speakers say that does not go far enough, and the school is just trying to distance itself, pointing out Anderson left 17 years ago and died 13 years ago. University of Michigan is issuing a statement in response. It reads, U of M is actively engaged in a confidential court-guided mediation process with survivors of Dr. Anderson's abuse, and we remain focused on that process. The Wilmer Hale investigative team had full access to all available information and they decided what to review and what to consider. Their report made it clear many survivors required confidentiality as a condition for speaking. Coming up at 6 p.m., an exclusive interview with Bo Schembechler's wife talking about the allegations being made against her late husband. From Ann Arbor, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Simon.